This is a CBS 4 News update. Shavazi with a CBS 4 News update. Today we're getting a good look at the aftermath of Hurricane Michael. It's responsible for at least two deaths as it makes its way through the southeastern United States. The storm swept through the panhandle as a Category 4 hurricane, leaving behind a path of destruction. The National Weather Service reports storm surge as high as 14 feet in some areas. Many first responders from South Florida are helping the panhandle recover after Hurricane Michael. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue sent an additional 35 members of Florida's task force Force One to help in those efforts. Some members just returning home after Hurricane Florence, but are still happy to help. I put thousands of hours in training for this. This is what we work for. This is what we want to do. This is what the dogs want to do. So, of course, we want to go do it again. Other agencies across South Florida from Hialeah, Miami Beach, Sunrise and Tamarack are also lending a helping hand. Crews will help with anything from medical care to passing out supplies and search and rescue efforts. Hialeah detectives arrested a woman in connection to a hit and run crash that killed a 79 year old man. Police identified the driver as 23 year old Mydelis Pulido. They say she was driving a stolen car on East 4th Avenue near East 17th Street when she turned and struck Orlando Quiala as he crossed the road Tuesday. Quayala later died from his injuries. Polito is now in police custody. A major merger is happening between a drugstore chain and a health insurance company. The proposed $69 billion merger between CVS and Aetna got the green light from the Justice Department. But there is a catch. Aetna must sell its Medicare Part D drug plan to resolve any antitrust issues. Now, CBS4 weather. Our weather is looking pretty good. We're going to get some rain in the coming days thanks to the moisture, the leftover moisture from Michael. We'll refer to that as the moisture tail of Michael. You can see it there draped over South Florida. Very dry air. It gets very, very close to us, but it just doesn't quite make it in. In fact, enough moisture around to keep a good chance for mainly afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms going Friday, Saturday, and again on Sunday, then next week. The ocean breeze comes in and it drops temperature wise a little bit and then we also see lower rain chances. So forecast wise it looks like this summery hot right into the weekend. Highs in the 90s, overnight lows in the upper 70s and mainly after an evening storms by next week. The breeze comes back, temperatures fall off a few degrees. Should be kind of nice. Ruta Bay. Thank you, Craig. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.